Alright, so we're checking out the only game where you get to rip gamers off so badly that it makes GameStop look like Goodwill. It's Gamer Shop Simulator. More squeezing blood from a stone, dammit! Gamer Shop Simulator is a game where you must open up a gamer shop so that you can sell wondrous wares to gamers. That's probably not going to happen. Obviously, our first order of business is to find a way to make a stupid amount of money so that we can not play the game as it was intended. Ah, <sighs> this is very unfortunate. We're somewhat limited on what we can name our shop. There's only so many letters. Okay, that feels pretty good. Come and get robbed is kind of tough here. We're missing out on some letters. What do you know? It allows just the right amount of letters in order to have this name. <laughs> it's like it was made for this! Welcome everyone to Gamer Shop Simulator. The only game where you get a bed in the middle of the abyss. Where the hell am I? This is my room. Man, I really went ham on the decorating. <laughs> oh, thank God, there's a tutorial! <laughs> and by tutorial, I mean there's four tabs of which have like 50 words on each one. Whatever, as long as there's loans and gambling, we'll be fine. I appreciate that although I live in gangland, I managed to afford the king-sized tub. You could fit like four dead bodies in here. This toilet and sink combination makes me feel like I'm in prison, let's go. I just noticed that in the air quotes, tutorial portion of this game. It mentions that homeless people can also enter your store and leave a trail. What the hell does that mean? It's like a trail of urine? Do I have to put newspaper down? God, talk about the class divide. Some regular person comes in and they're like, ah, I can sense the essence of the homeless ones before me. This is a hell of a city we picked to open up our business in. This one broken, depressed, dying tree is a fantastic example of what it's like to live in the city. How are you doing there, good ma'am? Oh, you know, just getting my assets flipped. That's good. This is a survival style game. You have to start by getting something to eat from the food shop. I like how the items in the food shop are a bag of potato chips, like an apple, a pizza, and a slab of uncooked meat. Do I have to cook it or do I just eat it raw? You just eat it raw. I wasn't sure I would be able to find my shop. I was wrong. Jesus Christ, why do they have to put like 400 different wooden planks in front of the doors and windows? They trying to protect themselves from a zombie apocalypse? Why did I even spend my money on the raw meat? There's an unused bag of chips right over here. It's got a little rust on it, but it's still good. God, they boarded up every single room. It'd be cool if I could buy a shop that I didn't have to break into. Can I get the non-epilepsy causing computer, please? Look at all these serious things over here. You got your monitors and your computers and your keyboards. Fur shop? Why is it fur shop? God, these posters are like from the early 90s. Wow, these are the options for making your sales, huh? I like how it goes from the wooden stand that you probably get your organs removed in a dark alley from to a slightly lighter version of the exact same stand that you would get your organs removed in a dark alley from. It's just 10 times more, what the hell? Oh, sweet Jesus, yes. Gambling. I like how on the wheel of money over here, one of the amounts that you can win is $666. Win up to $777,000. This is what I'm talking about. All right, everyone, I'll be back in like seven hours. Oh, yeah. Game trivialization. Go. It's a slow, methodical process, but you gotta pay to play, baby. I'm sure this game wants you to sell all the crap first. I don't have time for that. Don't underestimate my ability to sit here and click on this button for hours at a time, game. Okay, now we're starting to get some stacks. The shop closes at 2100 hours, but I'm not going home. As long as I have money and the ability to eat raw meat, we'll be fine. Is it just me or is there absolutely no congruency in the amount of money that you win compared to what you roll? I've legitimately been doing absolutely nothing but gambling for the last like 16 hours. This is the most accurate depiction of owning a shop I've ever seen in a game. I hope this gambling game isn't on the Steam store. It would show like how many hours I've put into it, it would say like eight days. A few hours later. Okay, I've been at this for a while. I still haven't won the goddamn jackpot, but we're up to 62 grand, so it should be enough to make a store. What the hell is this? Current price increase? How do you get these other ones? You have to pay to get your price increases. You capitalistic bastards. I have a ton of money. Please give me the marble organ table, please. Yeah, whatever, give me all these. All right, the most expensive thing is the Cancer 530. Holy Jesus Christ. I was wondering how you get your items, but apparently they just send it through the teleportation service that Amazon just invented. This game actually makes you unwrap the packages. I want to die. Do you even need to place this on the table? You can place it inside of the table. You know what? Sure. Oh! It's a very durable 
computer system. That is not where I place this. Yeah, sure, we're open for business. Are you, are you buying it or have you lost the will to live? I made money. The computer's still here though. I still haven't figured out how to put down this other goddamn table because the placing system in this game makes me want to kill myself. I... <laughs> what happened? Okay, so since I can't place anything, I'm just gonna open the the tables kind of where I want them to be. Yeah, put, put that there. Perfect. This man's spirit is completely broken. He's like one of the people from the Blair Witch Project. He's just standing in the corner. Hey, sir, listen, you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. I'm trying to clean up all the feces around my shop. Can you please move? No problem. Yeah, just hold my broom for me. <laughs> this guy over here is just stuck inside the shop, too. God, this is like a place where people go to die. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? Why can't I place this anywhere but in this fucking corner? <laughs> okay, if I wrap it, I think it'll turn into a box. And then I can unwrap it. And then I think I'll be able to put it wherever Surprise, it- Surprise, motherfucker! You know what? That's how we're displaying items now. If you can reach it, you can buy it. Who wouldn't want to buy a computer from a store? that has a table balancing with one single leg on top of another table. <laughs> All right, here's the plan. Since I can't actually move anything around, what I'm... <laughs> what I'm gonna do is just start getting as many tables in here as humanly possible, stacking them all over the store, just like a little waterfall of tables, and then maybe I'll be able to sell stuff that way. Okay, sure. Um, I'm closing up. You have a... Have a good night. <laughs> it's always a fulfilling feeling when you've played the game for like 30 minutes and you already have your first abduction. My daily routine before selling thousands and thousands of dollars worth of computer equipment is to always eat a nice raw steak. I like how sanitary this store is. He just leaves it on this plank of wood. He probably doesn't even clean it. I like that my broom is so powerful that it can cause shards of glass to evaporate. Thanks for kicking over my monitors, bitch. What the hell have I done here? Why is one of my monitors stuck in the placing function? Oh, sweet Jesus. <sighs> Awesome. One of my tables just went to space. Organ sold here. We've got a three-star rating on Yelp. Didn't find the product I needed. Look, organs are in short supply right now, and half of them are broken. I can't even place them down. All right, more tables. All right, maybe if I put my items here, they'll have to trip on them and their way in, and they'll buy something. What is happening? Why would you place this stuff down? Does it only teleport on top of other previously existing structures? Okay, it's starting to work. What are you? Why do you- why are you holding that box with your teeth, ma'am? Did you steal this or did you buy it? What is happening in this game? Why does this guy have a box in his mouth too? Selling stuff in this game is the worst way to make money. You're just better off gambling. What the hell? Why is my PC levitating off the ground? Why is it defied gravity? There are so many things happening in this game right now. Every morning I wake up to go to work and I wish I hadn't. <laughs> All right, what's the breakfast of champions today? Three bags of chips. Hello, ma'am. Would you like to buy a garden fresh organ? You look like you're about to steal something, bitch. Oh, you knocked over my other freaking computer. I swear to God, the worst thing about the video gaming business is that when you- uh? What the? That's not- that's not what she stole. She stole a computer, and it turned into a PlayStation. Whatever. The worst thing about the video gaming industry is that when you kill people, their bodies always end up taking something valuable down with them. Hey, anyone need a free gas can? I'm giving it away. Okay. By giving it away, I mean I'm firing it like a freaking rail gun down the street. One of the biggest achievements I have now in this game is understanding how to legitimately screw over the placing system so that it works correctly. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. You gonna buy that computer or are you gonna stare at it longingly salivating from the mouth? See, this lady knows at least how to pull the friggin' trigger. Can I beat her with this brick to get my computer back so I can sell it a second time? Hey, lady, give me that goddamn computer. <laughs> it just bounced right off her. What the hell? Wow. You were in here all night, huh? Hold on. <laughs> Can you leave if I close the door? He just goes back in. He's just stuck in there forever. That's right, you bastard. You can't leave until you buy something. Stand in the corner like all the bad boys.
is. So these are the different interiors that you can turn your shop into, huh? Why do they all look like something from the movie Hostel? Is there anything here that's slightly more inviting? Maybe a nice red, white, and blue? We got plenty of money. What's the most expensive one? It just looks like freaking concrete. Sure, this horrible checkered floor pattern. Wow. This is what I spent my money on. God, the inside of it looks like wallpaper from a mobile camper. I thought about taking down the rest of the wooden beams. What the hell? I just made a sale? From who? There's no one in here. I don't think I'm gonna take down these wooden posts over here because it just acts as a deterrent for anyone who might want to break in. They'll think to themselves either this place is abandoned or the person who owns it is crazy. I like that I just get paid now for doing absolutely nothing. I'm not even in the shop and I'm making sales. I'm starving to death though, so I need to eat your four-year-old banana. Look at it, I did the money, it's just rolling in. All right, I wanna be able to jack the price up even more. Where the hell are you going? The broom's not for sale. What the, f what, okay. Hey, come one, come all, step right up. Come and see the famous Nassau broom. Inside here, we're selling spectral monitors and a complete lack of morals so far really the only thing i've done is beat people to death sell computers to non-existent individuals and make money gambling so um i think i legitimately destroyed the planet i'm serious do you remember how there used to be people walking through town like plenty of individuals ever since the organ sold here store has opened. There's legitimately no one left. This place is a goddamn ghost town. Look, no one down this side. No one down this side. The only time I sell anything, it's to people that don't exist. What has happened? <laughs> At least you're still here for me. You and your one salmonella laden apple. <laughs> it's the only thing that sustains me. <laughs> hey, I see you bought one of my products. Give it back, I wanna sell it again. Well, I just made a sh ton of money again. I have no idea how. I haven't seen another real human being. I think I killed everyone in this entire city. Selling stuff in this game is the most unfulfilling thing I think I've ever done in my entire life. It's like as if though you were a lion and your lion parents were like, go out my child, go and hunt and show us that you can be self-sufficient. And then you go to McDonald's, you buy a Happy Meal and you bring it back to them and you're like, here. I get paid for doing nothing. Sometimes I'm not even in my shop. And thus my life in retail will end as it began. Sitting in front of my computer gambling. Because there's no one left in the entire city for me to take advantage of. They all spontaneously died. Anyway, folks. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Gamer Shop Simulator. I'm not really sure which part of the Gamer Shop got simulated. Until next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>